Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my full feedback video of Phantom Abyss, the 1.0 beta. In short terms, the beta without Abyss mod, 9 out of 10, with Abyss mode, with the bug, I can't, uh, can't play the other difficulties, a 2 out of 10, it's pure shit. I'm sorry, that's the truth. It is like it is. Long answer follows now. It's so dark in here. No. Just leave. Finally. So I've got a full sheet of notes. Um, which I'm going to talk about. Because there's a lot we need to talk about. I hope that at least some devs going to see my video. At least one maybe. If so. Uh, I'm already sorry for you, <laughs> but more or less the feedback will be pretty negative. But now the reason is I know you 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 had a lot of work with this update, and in general the update is great. It's a lot of fun. It makes the game um, very let's say rounded up, and it's uh, it's just great. Many quality of life improvements like the condensed top and so on and so on retry button i like it um it's a great game it's a very unique game but the game has some few issues which totally kill the joy of this game at least for me at least for me so let's start with the positive i of course will forget some positive and negative stuff i want to talk about or not talk about but i uh, what i encountered in my almost four days of this beta because currently for me it's monday afternoon i just finished the recording on my last beta episode and yeah since winter said there uh, is no plan to update the beta anymore but the servers are still running i don't believe you guys devs gonna gonna fix the issue with the difficulties not being able to unlock them Oh shit. Oh shit. That is bad. Because I don't, I'm sorry, developers, but I don't get your point. I mean, in the last dev stream, which is 1.5 months ago or so, you said you especially want a much, much feedback about the Bismuth. <laughs> and now I can't give you much feedback because three out of four difficulties are locked. Not only locked, they're just bugged. I'm sorry, but. What are you thinking? Like, seriously, I don't understand you. I mean, please explain it to me. You know? I don't know, but... Um, maybe there's a chance for another beta. I don't know. Next week or so. Next weekend. Maybe. Whatever. I, I just hope there will be another beta. Because else I'm scared for the full launch. Uh, I'm scared for the full launch. All right, the positive. Um, so in general, um, dear developers, I don't want you to feel bad at all um, after this, after you watch this video. Um, again, I appreciate you put the uh, you love putting in the game, but there are just some few little tiny things which completely ruin the game. You only need to fix a few little things, which are insanely easy to fix. Not to fix, it's not a bug, it's just a change, in my opinion, you have to make to the game. And then the whole beta is just a 9 out of 10, it's just great. Alright, to the positive. Um, the overall um, whip refining, I call it. Whip retraction speed. Um, you know, if you whip, the whip, uh, the whip is retracting so much faster. Just watch that. I landed and 10 milliseconds later, my whip is already to rock and roll again. Great, awesome. I wish that. Especially for the speed whip, you know. Yeah, great. In the past that slowed me down. Awesome, thanks. Uh, and again, in general, um, the whipping just feels a bit more fluid and I don't know what to say, but a bit more snappier. You know, just in general, more responsive. I, I don't know, I don't have words for that. It's just a thousand times better than before. 
it's just perfect. Never change that again, please. Um, the rift is beautiful. The, the rift is beautiful. Seriously, the rift is beautiful. Nothing more to say. It's awesome. It looks absolutely great. And great job, whoever made that. Really. Um, yeah, great. Dash is awesome and much fun, says my note. And I don't have anything to add there. Dash is awesome. Um, the normal dash, I think, is alright. It's not too long. It, it's alright. The cooldown is kind of fast. I mean, I like that, but maybe it's a touch too fast. I don't know. Maybe it's totally fine. I mean, I like the fast cooldown, but it's fast. I mean, keep in mind, I leveled everything to the max, so yeah. But sooner or later, everyone will have, because it's not that expensive to level dash cooldown to the max. Not really expensive. Um, one thing about um, dash. Um, my little fear, I had a little fear before this beta, and the fear was that dash might be, in general, very overpowered in the runes, inferno, and the caverns. Just because of the layouts of the traps, you know, just the rooms being a thousand times smaller than the rift, you know, in the rift you really profit from the dev, uh, from the dash, and the rift without dash is, is not fun, <laughs> you know. So you can really feel that, and dash in the other three worlds is very strong in my opinion but i mean to go through every every possible room and address that i don't know impossible to make at least without a lot of time but it's just a detail i noticed um it's nothing which is bothering me too much um Smaller hub is great, as well as the retry button. Yep. I don't have to add anything to it. Just great. Um, retry button, also cool. Um, works. Great. Now, my note on the positive side is empty. <laughs> as of now. Um... Well, there's a lot of a lot of positive things about Spade, like like the stats right here. I mean, I'm just gonna show you my stats. I just like it to be um, stated already. Professor, holy fuck! I saw you pretty often. Donna also, Eagly, Uncle Steve, you Simco, Doof Master, ay ay ay, Yukshiro. I can't read that, I'm sorry. Um, Temples attempted. 89. Oh man, that is a lot. That is a lot. Total deaths, 19. Burned. Man, I got often burned. Holy moly. Chest opened. Oh man, 35,000 coins. That is... Maybe a lot. Keys collected. Yeah, key exchanged. <laughs> I um, tried the bug. Where you get way too many keys, but didn't work for me. Longest jump. Top speed. 67 miles per second. I don't know if this is free fall or a big fat boost. Whatever. <clears throat> so let's go about the negative. Um, where do I start? All right, the basic negative things I want to say, I have to say. The FPS and the Rift. I know you already know that, um, so just want to say that. Um, I noticed after almost 15 hours in the beta, the FPS is especially very bad if you got Crosswind, whether it be in the caverns, the runes, whatever. Crosswind kills a little bit of FPS, not too much, but a little bit. Um, but the worst thing are more or less lasers, especially if you look to the ground and you see the reflections. I mean, they look great, but 
Oof. It hurts my GPU. Um, maybe that helps you figuring out what exactly is going on with FPS. I mean, it's not like having 5 FPS in the Rift, you know. It's still fine, but needs some tweaking. Um, another negative point. Helmet size. You know the curse from um, the curse extra damage? You get a helmet and it blocks your vision. It's way too big. It blocks so much of my vision. It's awful. Always when I get extra damage, I mostly get it with 1.5 times damage. So I always try to jump up high to get full damage. Because the lowest fall damage you can get is a quarter heart. 1.5 times that is three quarters. So I, you know, it costs me almost a heart to get um, the mask removed. The, the mask, the helmet. You have to address it. That is, I mean, the vision which is blocked is a curse. Is another curse. It's it's way too big. It's alright if you want to have an indicator for that, but it needs to be much, 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 much smaller. Like seriously, much, much smaller. Um, yeah. So I'm always gonna hit myself. Um, on purpose if I get the curse because don't see too much it's not immersive enough um, the disco color change per um, curse um, so the color change is too fast for me I mean I don't have epilepsy or uh, all that stuff um, but it hurts my brain a little bit after being in a daily temple it hurts my brain a little bit because yeah just the color change is too fast. Um, would like to see that being tweaked for a slower color change. Else the curse is a lot of fun. I get it why you've put it into daily mode. It's daily mode should be fun. Uh, the visuals of Crosswind annoy me. They look awful. First of all, they look like PS2 graphics, maybe even PS1. That's, that's not my biggest issue. The biggest issue it is it's blocking my vision again. It's like permanent fog in my eyes. It's totally distracting. I can't spectate the beautiful rift. Ugh. Sorry. So it kills the aesthetic of a temple, in my opinion. Uh, the chest key light indicator. So, you know, if a chest is already open and the key is ready to be collected, to be picked up, um, there's a blue light indicator. And it was a and the first error, very distracting for me because I always thought, oh, there's a um, Phantom Essence. Because it's the same color as the Phantom Essence. At least it's very similar. Maybe it's a touch more dark, I don't know. But in my opinion, please change the color of that. Because it, I always think, oh, a Phantom Essence. You know, um, make it, I don't know, make it green. Make it yellow, red, whatever. You know, just, just a different color than... The Phantom's assets. Right. So that's the overall negative points I have about this game. Now we get into detail. I'm going to start about, uh, with daily mode. Then I'm going through adventure challenges. Then about abyss mode. Abyss mode is going to be the longest part of my feedback. Because they said, you guys, devs, you said you want much feedback about abyss mode. I give you as much feedback as I can. You won't like it at all. But it needs to be said. All right, daily mode. Um, uh, the first daily temple, which again for me, I'm GMT plus two, Germany time, Germany, uh, Germany, Germany summer time. Um, the daily temple I got on Friday was hellish. Dana also said this in his video. It was way too difficult. Um, the daily on Saturday and Sunday was totally all right. I would say average difficulty. So, yeah. Now, in my opinion, that's just my opinion. Daily mode should be a mode where every uh, player comes together. Where every, where all players <laughs> come together and see each other, speed run, the same temple, whatever. Doing score, run, score runs, just having fun. You know, and in my opinion, 
For everyone to have fun, the temple needs to be at an average difficulty. It should not be at a baby difficulty. That's maybe too boring for the majority of players, but it also shouldn't be hellish. That is at least my opinion about daily mode. Maybe you guys are going to ask um, Dana, um, the other YouTuber. <laughs> or Phantom Abyss who talks. Well, not too many who talk. Um, maybe you ask him about daily mode because he mostly only plays daily mode. And that's his love for this game, I would say. For me, it's Abyss mode. So maybe you're going to ask him if he has a different opinion. I don't know, but that's my opinion. If you guys uh, devs just say, well, we want always a totally different daily, sometimes baby difficulty, sometimes average, sometimes hellish, don't change daily mode. That's it's already like that. But in my opinion, it should be much more average. And and don't say the temple itself is always easy because it's very short. Uh, that's not how it works because because it's, if there is just one hard level, which new players or low intermediate players can't beat or can't get through this level, it doesn't matter the length of the temple or the depth of the temple. You know, if you can't pass the first level or floor, how to say, um, it doesn't matter if the temple is three floors, two floors, a hundred floors. All right. Um, yeah, that's about daily mode. Um, I didn't have. Um, I mean, we only got. If you, let's check out today's Monday daily. Which curses this go? All right, no new curse. Um, I know there are some other curses um, only specific to daily. Um, yeah, can't give feedback about that. Didn't have them. As well as every other, of course. Um, yeah, that's about daily mode. To be honest, um, I don't care too much about daily mode. Sometimes I play it, sometimes not. So, but in general, I think the majority of player uh, of players would be happy if the difficulty is somewhat average. I don't know how to define average, but maybe. Well, the inferno is pretty easy. Maybe some inferno level. Oh, maybe not some inferno levels. Whatever, whatever. Adventure challenges. Um, so, all in all, I like the adventure challenges. They are fun. The temples seem uh, to be uh, treated for the specific rip bonus. So, all good. It works. If you enable every curse, like I tried the first uh, temple, uh, the first adventure right here, with every curse enabled and the game crashed. <laughs> so that's just a bug. Sure, you're gonna guys fix that. Um, but in general, adventure mode is pretty good in my opinion to progress through. And now, if this takes bug, great. Um, no complaints about the rift, the currents as well. No complaints about them too. Um, let's talk about the inferno and the rift. Um. For me, it feels like the all six rift, uh, all six um, inferno um, temples are almost at the same difficulty, pretty much. And in my opinion, they are somewhat easy compared to the rift. So, in my opinion, um, just to give it a little bit more balance, um, maybe uh, make you know. Uh, some inferno temples a little bit harder so that you have a little difficulty um, progression you know easy medium 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 hard whatever you know so that it's get um, a little bit harder because if you enter the rift you there's a huge gap between the rift and the inferno difficulty adventure mode it's it's pretty crazy um yeah so maybe i just said um, in general, the rift is, yeah, pretty hard, pretty hard. Mm, it's hard to me. Uh, it's hard for me to say if you should lower it or leave it. Maybe leave it, but um, this temple needs to be addressed. It took me one hour to complete this temple. It was a nightmare. It's the worst temple in the game I have ever seen. 
you have to address this temper. I don't know what to do, but do something about it. Maybe make the death tube. You know the death tube? I love it. It's awesome, it's punishing, but the death tube has uh, spikes on the walls. So sometimes I was able to, you know, fit through every little gap and maneuver through, but I always um, got hit by the spikes on the wall. And um, I think in total you will get three death tubes in this temple. In my opinion, that's too much because you lose a lot of health and you don't really have time to get coins to buy blessings, to get double jump or flying or whatever to, you know, be safer in the death tube because the devouring rage is just so insanely fast and you are so slow with swip. Of course, you're already faster with super dash, but it is a nightmare, this temple. This temple needs to be addressed. Um, this temple is all right. Uh, this temple is also right, and this temple is harder as well. So, this and this one, these are the easiest temples in the Rift Adventure Challenges. Uh, this is the hardest super dish, and this is the second hardest. But he, the, uh, he, <laughs> this uh, temple is much more easy yeah, than this. You need to address that. That is horrible. That is really horrible. Alright, that's about adventure challenges. You know, make the inferno uh, progressively a little bit harder throughout. Maybe not the first temple. That's a right to get the player uh, the players used to the inferno and so on and so on. But yeah, make it a little bit harder as you progress through the inferno to be prepared a little bit more for the rift. And in general, that the uh, Inferno and Rift difficulty gap isn't insanely big. Mm, the difficulty bit difference between Abysmal Master and the Rift challenges. So the Super Dish um, Temple is much harder than Abysmal Master. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> At least if you use the Speed Whip like me in Abysmal Master. You know. Yeah. All right, that's about adventure challenges. Let's talk about Abyss mod. Um, I've also created a full list of every curse which is known to me in the beta. Um, and I wrote next to it <laughs> if I like the, um, uh, the curse or not. So in terms of am I okay with this curse being in Abyss mod? Am I not okay with it? Uh, am I unsure? Or um, do you have to remove that? Um, since I'm gonna edit this video, I'm gonna let it pop up with magic right here. Ah, ta da! <laughs> um, so let me go through the list in a bit. In a bit. Um, a bit more. Saturday I got a few dark modes in Abyss Mode Master. Um, now everything I'm gonna say about Abyss Mode is based on the Master difficulty. Because the other difficulties are bugged for me, I can't play them. Um, yeah, Saturday I got a few dark rooms. Just just wanna mention that. Crosswind and the time are almost 9 out of 10 tables. Almost every time. On Sunday I got quite a lot dark rooms and no crosswind and timer so i don't know developers if you change something in the background on the server side but if so now you know what it changes uh, changed for me so i like abyss mode it's great it's much fun it's awesome it's enjoyable Man, I'm, that sounds sarcastic, but like seriously, I, I like it. Um, it's the core mode of this game, in my opinion. It's the mode you're going to play the most, especially after you completed every challenge. You know, because it's the only really way to get a new temple. Yeah, I know there's still daily temple, but it's not the full like, game experience, of course. So this mode is the core mode of this game, 100%. Um, in terms of difficulty, Master mode is pretty easy. 
it's starting at baby difficulty like the runes the first two floors and the runes are way too easy you know maybe start them at average difficulty i don't know but they're super duper um, easy it's just boring to run through um but in general the difficulty of the whole temple is pretty easy you know i survived i would say eight out of ten temples one time being my own fault and one time i um, ruined the timer uh so my run got ruined by the timer um yeah so since i can't ask other difficulties i'm just gonna say abyss mode is way too easy it's boring i'm sorry it's no challenge for me it's it's super duper easy <laughs> yeah all right now we get to the core problem of abyss mode i really hope you guys gonna address it oh man i'm really gonna pray for that um it's pretty simple remove crosswind and the timer else I'm gonna leave the game. I mean, I I know you don't care if just one guy leaves the game. That's totally right. You have to make decisions as a developer for the majority of people who play this game. I completely understand that, but I'm sorry, my whole experience is being ruined by crosswind and the timer. Uh, the crosswind even more than the timer because the timer, uh, well, it's both pretty shitty. Because let's start with well let's start with crosswind first of all as i already mentioned visually it's super annoying and looks pretty bad but the point of being annoying is much more heavily affecting my game uh, experience but the biggest issue of course i have with crosswind is that it's totally destroying the movement the 3d movement you know the movement is very precise and you know if i got crosswind and um in front of me and I walk faster or slower that's no fun it's just annoying it's not a curse even it's the worst wind from the side the only thing which is cool is wind from above because it's like low gravity that's fun maybe it's that it is a separate curse well that wouldn't be a curse but that is fun but everything else is pure shit I'm sorry but it is that it is. Crosswind completely ruins everything. You know. Ah. Nope. No fun with it. I mean, in the following days when my newer episodes release, you're gonna see one episode I get crosswind timer all the time, gonna hate it. And next day I don't get crosswind, no timer. I love the mode. That's just it. It's so simple. You know, all in all, this beta for me, a 2 out of a 10. Remove crosswind, remove the death timer, unlock all other difficulties. Let me play other difficulties. Hopefully they are punishing, um, but I think they are. And then the beta might be a 9 out of 10. But with crosswind and the timer, nope. Nope. As you can see in my list, they are red. And the red things need to be removed from Abyss mode. I don't have problem with Crosswind being maybe in the daily mode, uh, in the daily temple from time to time, and being um, in one of the adventure challenges. That's alright in my opinion. But, oof. Again, that's just my opinion. And if I'm the only one with this opinion, sure, you're not gonna change it. And, of course, I can understand that. But, I might cry. I might cry. Yeah, it's super sad. You know. I also don't understand um, why you haven't unlocked the other difficulties. Uh, not unlocked, but fixed that. You said you want much feedback about Abyss mode. <laughs> But I only can play Master Difficulty. What the heck is it? I don't understand that. 
I don't get it. Now, I didn't want to join the temple, so I'm just gonna leave again, but um, in my list of the curses. So, let's go through it. Um, so this list, of course, only applies to Abyss mode. And, of course, every difficulty in Abyss mode. Not only the master difficulty, every difficulty. Let's go through it. Green, I'm totally okay with. So, Blessings, Hurt, Dangerous Water, Dangerous Doorways, Elite Trips, Rapid Fire, Extra Damage, Fragile Dash, Minus 1, 2, 3, Hard Containers, Loose Pockets, Hollow Phantoms, Blood Bond, Flammable, High Stakes, Disco, Expensive Shrines, Tech Team. I'm totally fine with these curses being in Abyss Mode. Um, some curses like Poison Darts, Poison Blades, Master of Pen... Penance? Penance? I don't know. Pile On. Um, I didn't encounter them yet, so I can't give feedback um, on them. I assume like Poison Darts, Poison bla uh, Blades and Flammable are only appearing in harder Abyss Mode temples. So that's why I'm not seeing them. Uh, by the way, flammable I saw in Holodecker's video. So that's where I know where I know the kills. It sounds terrifying, you know. Pleasure's insta kill. Oof. But it needs to be difficult, right? So about um gotta go fast. The curse where you have to dash in a given time, again and again, else you get damage. In my opinion, this is not a curse, it's just annoying because you can just make that you know see so I don't know but making this every few seconds if you're standing in a corner waiting for a trip or whatever it's it's annoying this does not make the game more difficult in my opinion um, so I don't know but if this should be removed maybe maybe not I don't know, I'm not too sure. Um, now, there are also some curses I'm not okay with, personally, because, yeah, let's go through them. Blackout. Mm, blackout, in general, is a great curse, in my opinion. It's it's fun, but not really in Abyss mode, because it just stops you from being fast, being into a run, you know, you have to take a break, stop, wait for the vision to go bright again. It feels more interrupted, uh, like more interrupting the gameplay than adding a challenge to the game. So, in my opinion, you always have to make a decision um, when we have a new curse between is this curse adding a challenge to the game or is it just annoying? That's very important, in my opinion. Blackout is more on the side of annoying, as well as gotta go fast. Icy feet. I hate it. <laughs> I don't know, it's it's surely not as bad as Crosswind. I mean, in combination they are hellish, but Icy feet is still annoying, destroying uh, my precise movement. Yeah, would like to see that removed. Um, short whip as well. The reason I don't like short whip is pretty simple. Um, when you play the game a lot, of course, uh, you want to get used to the whip links. You know, I want to get used to um, the different room, uh, the different rooms I can approach with a specific uh, whip or speed or dash distance, whatever. But I want to get used to the length of my whip and so I know in every room all right I can whip this far or this high up and I'm fine but if sometimes randomly the curse appears and removes I don't know 10 20 30 percent of my whip length it's just a bit annoying in my opinion it's probably not bad in every whip situation that's for sure but in some Mm, not great. Yeah. Um, greedy Phantoms. I, that's nothing personal for me. 
because I use a speed whip only in this game. Everything else just is slow. I'm sorry. <laughs> but of course that's just how I play the game. Um, the issue I have with GD Phantoms is, you know, if you don't use the speed whip, you are probably slower than every other player in the temple, or at least there always will be one player who has a speed whip and gonna open some chests. So probably you will never get any coins in your run only because of that curse and in my opinion that curse is just unfair if it only appears in a temple where everyone is using the speed whip yeah all right i mean it's it's still a bit unfair because not everyone likes to speed run in a temple or likes to try uh, likes to be uh, very fast so in my opinion better put it into daily mode and of course the adventure challenges, but that's customizable anyway. Um, glass bones. I don't think I have to say anything more than that, right? If you ever watched three minutes of any of my gameplay videos, you know I hate this curse, especially as a speed whip only player. Um, with a, let's call it old game, current game, current official game. Being a curse attached to the speed whip, uh, I've got used to it, of course. It, it's it's just, an, uh, I don't know, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I just hate it. I just hate it, but yeah, that's it. Um, the last two, of course, time limit crosswind. At least removes them. Remove crosswind, remove time limit, 100%. If not, gonna leave, uh, leave me. <laughs> You're gonna lose me as a loyal player since day one. That's the truth, you know. Um, so I really hope many other people as well um, hate these two curses being in Abyss mode. So... Yeah, or maybe make the chance of appearance for crosswind and time limit. No, time limit is just unfair. But for crosswind, like 0.1%. You know, one out of a thousand temples you get crosswind. I'm fine with that. But nothing more. You know, the... Oh, I forgot to talk about time limit. Right. So, the issue with time limit is pretty simple. Sometimes the temples are impossible. And... In my opinion, that is not RNG. You know, this at least, at the least, the game should give you a fair chance of being able to beat every temple. That's the minimum the game should give me, should give us. But the time limit is ruined that. Totally. Sometimes it's just impossible. And that's not RNG, that's just annoying and you're screwing with my experience. That's just it, as it is. Um, yeah. Also, um, as I wrote down, no time to learn traps in the rift. And of course, no time to really spectate the rift, because on Saturday I got it in every abyss run. I had no time to check out the rift. Maybe grab some purple keys. Just no time. In my opinion, that curse is is not good. By the way, when you guys first talked about the curse um, time limit in the last beta stream, um, I thought the curse uh, gonna be like um, a time limit for the whole temple. Not for one level or floor. Because for the whole temple, that would change the curse a lot, being much fair, much more fair. Um, because, like, for example, if you go to the temple, and in some levels, it's just super, super difficult, and you just need to take your time to see a new, tra to watch a new trip, and learn it for 10 or 20 seconds to get used to it, to its mechanics and interval, whatever, trip activation. 
it's impossible with time limit. So if the time limit would be globally for the whole temple, um, you just could average the time out in the next level, which may be more easy for you. So in average, you would be fine with your time limit, you know. Of course, still maybe a tight, tight limit, but not an impossible one, where you have at least a chance with a global death timer. Yeah, but in general, to make a death timer is very, very difficult because some temples are uh, taken more time than others. To given, and now to use a specific timer for every temple, I don't think that's gonna work. So, yeah, that that is my feedback. Holy fuck, forty minutes! Oh my fucking god! Never is anyone gonna watch that whole video. Never, man. But yeah, that was a very in-depth feedback of the 1.0 Phantom Abyss beta. Um, I want to thank you all. Developers, thank you very much. Um, every viewer, thank you very much. Thousands of Phantoms playing the beta, thank you very much. It was more or less much fun, but Crosswind went and the timer. Killing the game, 100%. So that's my final state. Remove the time limit, remove crosswind out of abyss mode. Then I'm loving the game and I would like to play the game for many, many years in the future. Many years to come. So, but currently it's awful. You know, with the current state of this beta, it's just a 2 out of a 10. The other difficulties are missing, are bugged, whatever. Time limit, crosswind. Everything is set. So, with this, um, that's my last video about this beta. I really hope there will be another beta. I really do hope there will be another beta. Oh man. Holy moly. But whatever, hopefully. I'm not sure at all. I don't know, maybe not. If not, I'm really scared of the full launch. I must say, I'm really scared of the full launch. So, in my feedback video, I didn't talk about some bugs in the game. Because they're already covered in the Discord, I think. <laughs> so, I mean, the, the beta had no game-breaking bugs. Because crosswind and time, like a death timer, is <laughs> a feature. Um, so the beta was pretty stable, and yeah, overall much fun. Besides crosswind and the time limit. Thank you very much. Uh, my next video, well, that that's that's not really true because the video is going to be released right now. Not right now, but today. In my next video, so I'm personally gonna not gonna play the uh, beta any further. Maybe one or two temples off camera. Maybe not. Again, it's way too easy. It has crosswind and the death timer. So, but I'm definitely back when there might be a second beta. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, that's it. Gonna see you at the full launch. And if you watch this video when it came out or a few days later, just check out my channel if you want to see more beta videos because I think I've got like 10 videos about the beta. Every video being one hour, so there's a lot um, to watch if you like. Bye bye.